I need some self-love. I need some self-care. I need to treat myself from time to time. So today I'm booking a hotel for one. I know it sounds so sad, doesn't it? But I just want a little getaway. I just want to get out of here, take myself to a bougie hotel and just have a night off. I am disgusted by the amount of money I'm spending on this hotel for one night. But we're not actually going to talk about that. Maybe I'll tell you later, but it's... um. <sighs> definitely a dent in the bank we're just gonna address the elephant in the room i am severely hungover right now went to sleep at 5 a.m woke up at 12. probably not the best idea for like a whole like pamper day and like self-love day for me to be hungover during it because like i want to obviously experience the full extent of the money which i spent on this hotel but we're out here you know it's happened the past the past can't change the thing can we and i had fun while doing it the hotel i'm going to is called claridge's and claridge's is very well renowned to be bougie sophisticated and i am not sophisticated i oh my god sophisticated has my name in it sophisticated i hate the shit out of this I need to make myself look presentable because it is 10 past 3. I could have checked in 10 minutes ago, but um, as usual, I was procrastinating. So I do want to get that ASAP because I want to get my money's worth. <laughs> first things first, we need to look a little bit more sophisticated. So let's do that. Okay, Miss Girl, I've suited and booted up. I'm literally wearing heels. <laughs> she can clean up. What can I bloody say? I am staying at a five-star hotel tonight, so I have to look the part. I'm ready to go on my staycation. <laughs> I'm bringing a suitcase with me. I know, I'm really going away. Look at this. Actually, to be fair, I got some brand deals in there so I can film them. Hopefully the aesthetic's nice, because from the pictures, it looks bloody amazing. So I got everything, my period pads, because I'm my period, obviously. Of course I'm my period when I want to go on my staycation. I was going to drive, but then it said that the nearest parking place was like NCP car park and honey that is 40 quid for two hours and i'm staying overnight and you do the math not gonna pay for it so i'm gonna get uber i actually can't believe i'm actually doing this do i have my proof in don't want to be caught slipping been hungover today no thank you you got out the part and i'm gonna wear my prada so they actually take me seriously at the reception because miss girl if you saw what i usually wore i'll be booted out of that place but anyway i look like a city girl right now fucking hell she really can dress up can't she look at her Woo. probably the second time i've actually ever worn this bag out i'm so sorry prada i'm just really not materialistic person i really thought that buying this i'd be like oh my god i'm such a bad girl but like i'm just not like that don't buy materialistic things to fit in guys that's the moral of the story anyways let's get on our way hiya I made it and I'm baffled. Just the ceiling explains what this place looks like. Okay, let me give you a tour. Okay, first of all, I got an upgrade. So, eh. Hallway. Fucking pain. Okay, so this is the room. Look at this. What the fuck? What in the bloody hell of Lord's name in Jesus? It is beautiful. Are you joking? Oh my God, can I go out there? <gasps> is that a terrace? Shut up. Shut up, that's a terrace. Surely. Oh, let me out. Let me out. No, I can't get out of there. I was just about to say it's my little terrace I can like sit on. I actually am... Um, baffled how am i gonna stay here tonight this is actually crazy this is not allowed this is not allowed this is my walk-in wardrobe for all one outfit that i have and then this is the bathroom <gasps> shut up my eyes can't comprehend what i'm seeing right now <gasps> look at that bath oh my god it's a wet room what is actually happening his and hers for just little of me and this is the toilet oh my god is it one of those ones just like squats up your ass <gasps> shut up no it doesn't it is i fucking knew it <laughs> Wow, this bed is so comfy. I should just more often. Now what? <laughs> what the fuck do we do? Also, I just realized that I have no other shoes except from heels. So if I was gonna go on a little adventure, I will be have to be strutting my stuff down London town like this. I'm so sorry for me just being like absolutely gobsmacked for the past five minutes, but like, this is mad. I gotta face to my mum and show her this. Right, the boots are off, the jacket's off. We're gonna see how many freebies we've got in this place. <laughs> oh, we got some Clara's hand sanitizer. Oh, some of the writing's kind of like come off. Suspicious, especially when it's meant to be hand sanitizer. Like what? Refreshing wet towel. Got two of those. Use them later. Oh my god, face mask. Ah, iconic. Oh my god, the fact I thought it was face mask as in like pamper masks. Oh, that is so sad. Oh, they're cool though. Got four white ones. That's so sick. I hate the blue sanitary ones. They are just not it. Like they just kind of like ruin an outfit, you know? Okay, we got a notepad and paper. I can write down my late night thoughts. Another one. Free pen. Definitely taking that. Licky licky. <laughs> what is in here? Oh, is that a Dyson? Shut up. It's a Dyson hairdryer. Shut the fuck up. This is the most expensive hairdryer you can basically hit your hands on. We've got some mouthwash. Strong mint. Very gorgeous. 
hand body lotion and bath and shower gel. So where's my bathrobe then? <gasps> there they are. Why did I completely miss it? Look at this. Gorgeous. I think it's kind of daylight robbery if I was to take a robe, so I'm not going to do that. I honestly don't know what to do. It's like 5 p.m. I'm a little bit hungry, but I'm going to like wait it off so I can have like a big fat meal later. This is just me exerting my independence. Am I Emma Chamberlain yet? <laughs> I put on the robe. I completely forgot. Every single hotel has a mini bar, and I didn't even think about it, but it's in these bad boys. Should we see? Oh, God. Look at this. It's all, like, such posh snacks. Do you think they're free? For the amount I pay for this room, it must be free, surely. I've never heard of any of these brands before. <gasps> Shut up. There's a bloody power cable. This can't be free, then, if there's literally an uh, Apple iPhone charger. Oh, shut up. Should we pop the bottle tonight? I think we should pop a bottle tonight. Oh my gosh, it's got everything. Like, what is that? Dry gin, potato vodka, potato vodka. Oh my god, Belvedere. Okay, bougie. Well, I mean, should I be surprised? Okay, so where does it say how much they are? Always oh, the mini bar free because I cannot see anything which like says that it costs. So if it doesn't cost, I'm f going ham. Should I just ask for reception? Okay, I'm doing it. Hiya, um, I was just wondering if there was a price list for the mini bar. Okay, um, I don't think that- Um, yeah, that'd be amazing, thank you. Thank you, bye. <laughs> it's not free. It's not bloody free. No. Someone's coming up like now to like give me the list so I gotta get changed. I can't be in a rope. <laughs> they came and I've been hit with a QR code. Oh, shut up. It's 150 pounds for that little champagne. 375 mil. I don't know if I'm being dumb. Like that's a small. F shut up. Oh, fucking hell. This by itself is 150 pounds. That's mad. Well, see a mini bar. Oxford Street is literally just there, like literally across the bloody road. So, I might do some shopping. It's a me day today, so fuck it. I'm out and about, lads. This whole skirt idea, bad idea. Don't know why I thought that it was the right time of year to wear a skirt, even though it's May, May 14th to be exact. And I still can't wear a bloody skirt without freezing my tits off. I feel so independent, but also very lonely, <laughs> if I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> right, lads, secured the goods. What else should I get? Should I get myself like a sheet face mask so I can like pamper myself? Fuck it. Oh, this, by the way, this pure stuff, incredible. If you love fake tan, this is the goat. <laughs> Okay, you guessed it. I'm in urban. Is this ugly or is it like really cute? I can't tell. But like, what the fuck would I wear it with? But why is that so cute? Wait, I kind of hate it. Wait, why do I kind of love it? No, no, I can't. I just got bloody chatted up. He walks alongside me. He's like, hey, I find you very attractive. And I'm like, <laughs> sorry, man. Like, I have a boyfriend. He's like, oh, peak. I mean, I can be your gay best friend if you want. And I was like, bait. Oh, I respect the grind, though. <laughs> what a day. I just walked 20 minutes in heels. <laughs> So I'm like re-debating whether I should have room service, like supper, or if I should go downstairs and eat it at an actual restaurant. Anyways, we got some kettle fish and I got some monster munch. <laughs> I love monster munch. It is my dirty little secret. Dirty little, oh, dirty little pleasure. And then we got some hummus. Fuck, this stuff is so good. We should have tried many other did an ad for it, but oh my God, it's like the best hummus and some water. So cheers to that. This is the setup. I'm living my best life. So I think I made the consecutive decision to order room service to my room. <laughs> I don't know if I'm hungover. Like before I came here, I was just like, Oof. I was like, oh no, it's gonna happen. But now I'm feeling fine. It's time to order room service. I've like fully cut the roof of my mouth from the monster munch. It's actually so bad. But we out here. I think I'm gonna get fish and chips. Fuck it, I love fish and chips. Hiya, um, can I please order some room service? Oh, just one. I just have the fish and chips. Could I please get a Coca-Cola as well? You know what? Yes, I would love some of the dessert. Can I please have the lemon sorbet? Okay, cool. Thank you very much. Bye. Finesse. Okay, now we have to wait 30 minutes for my fish and chips. I can't believe this is my room for the night. Look at what just happened. <laughs> this is crazy. I'm about to dive the fuck in. This is bloody heaven. I should start doing this more often. Chip? Oh, yeah, the perfect ratio of crunch to softness. That's posh ketchup. Not even home. You're the ones who are saying the glass bottles. I'm not complaining. <laughs> so while I've been scrumming up my fish and chips, this has melted. Look at that. Oh, my days. I need to get in. I don't know how much this was, actually. And that's kind of worrying. It said £16 where it said lemon sorbet. So if it's £16 for two scoops, I'm going to be so fucked off. Oh. Cheers to that. You're me. Shut the fuck up. It literally just gets better, doesn't it? Look at this. What the fuck? Is that? I've never seen something like that. Oh my god, guys, have you also noticed I got acrylics? Me with acrylics. Rare occurrence, but I'm loving them. Anyways, what is this? If anyone knows what this type of fruit is, please let me know because it's like furry. I'm about to do something I'm gonna regret. <laughs> but we're gonna f around the toilet. <laughs> I know, I know I'm 21 years old and I probably shouldn't be doing this, but who gives? I think you have to be sitting on it. Should I pretend to be sitting on it? 
Guys, I know this is gonna seem really f strange, but I'm gonna put this here. Pretend like I'm on the loo, but like I am not on the loo because I have a fucking dressing gown. I'm really scared, it's gonna like pierce through my ass. <laughs> the whole door is soaked. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Never again. Well, that was fun while it lasted. Anyways, I have a bath. I haven't had a bath in bloody months. Couple bath in three, two, one. And bam, there she is. That looks so aesthetic. And here we are. I'm in my bubbly bath. This is the peak. This is the actual peak. I feel glazed like a Krispy Kreme donut. Man. I forget how much I love baths. Whenever I first get into a bath and it's really hot, I have the same sensation I had when I was like a toddler. It's actually so weird. I can't believe I'm here by myself. It's kind of like really lonely. <laughs> but independence is key, right, ladies? I think sometimes you do need alone time. You do need time to think about things. I've become very codependent recently, I feel like. And I feel like I need to find my independence again. And this is one of the stages. Book a hotel for the night, which dad says will probably barely pay it back. <laughs> Hi, guys, and welcome to my Vogue Beauty secrets video it was bound to happen at one point you know folks thank you so much for letting me do this i guess we get straight into my skincare i'm not doing makeup today guys i'm so sorry i'm really doing skincare because it's night time so this is kind of my nighttime routine <laughs> I would never be able to do one of those videos. I am literally, I'm not serious enough for it. I'm not cow. Anyways, I just literally sat on my ass for like an hour watching TikToks. That app possesses me. Anywho, anywho. <laughs> what? Okay, so basically I brought this brightening treatment. Should I have like what earlier? Bloody hell, that feels like years ago. It's actually really sad, like, because I'm doing my night routine right now and that means that I'm about to go to bed. I don't remember what this like experience to end. This is actually really sad. Friends of friends, I unfold the mask, peel off one side of the film. Okay, anyway, so basically my cleanser is the CeraVe Hydrating Cleanser, not Spawn. I love it, it doesn't break me out, and it, it's just gentle. Wet your face a little bit, get a little squirt of that on. It doesn't foam up. I feel like there's one you can get which foams up, but like, ten noise. There is one which you can get which foams up, but I don't have that. Let's put on this brightening treatment. I'll be so packed off if it breaks me out, but let's just knock that out of the universe. Smells nice. How am I gonna be able to look? There's no eye, the eye holes have like, yeah, I'm just gonna rip it. Oh my god, what the fuck? Lol, okay, let's put it on. Bearing in mind, I was meant to take off two protective layers before I put it on my face. This is me in a nutshell when it comes to skincare. This is the most uncomfy mask. You see I got it on the right way around, right? This is so uncomfy. It's like really plasticky. Oh my days. Okay, well, anyways, so let's leave it on for 20 minutes. So I'm gonna leave it on for 10 because I don't trust nobody. I'll see you in a sec, guys. Oh my God, I'm a dumb bitch. The reason why it's so uncomfy is because it's a protective film. Dumb bitch. It's like netting. Do you see that? It's so uncomfy. I was literally about to leave it on my face as well. Idiot. This is why you should always read the instructions, guys. Don't be a smart ass and pretend like you know what you're doing. Take the other side of the netting. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, shit, me. This feels great. No, I'm about to do 20 minutes. Okay, BRB. All right, my masseters, let's take this off. Wow. Let's just rub it in to your skin, but like, I don't really want to wear this as like a sleep mask because I will wake up in the morning with a few white heads and that's not really the move for me. So, I'm gonna rinse it off. These like face masks and stuff, I just see it as like an aesthetic thing and like, I just thought because I was doing like a Vogue beauty video, I like had to have it. So, you got what you wanted, you know? Me, I like a skincare guru. Like, shut up, Kate. This is literally the first time I've actually ever had a skincare routine. Then I go in with this facial moisturizing lotion by CeraVe as well. It's the PM one. So I think the AM one has like SPF in it. Cheers to that. Then I get my retinol, which is 0.2%, which I'm pretty sure doesn't really do much because it's like it's like a beginner retinol. I think I need to like up the percentage, but if there are actually any skincare gurus in the comments, please let me know because I do want to warn up because I know retinol is really good for like cell turnover. Cell turnover. <laughs> then I go with rapid lash because I got lash extensions and I didn't like them. And they were really like winged at the edges, so I ripped out the lashes which were at the edge. I ripped out my lashes in the process, so I'm never doing that again. I would love to live somewhere like this when I'm older. Like, how lush is this bathroom? This is actually a few dream for me. Like, I will edit this back and be like, 
Did that happen? Oh, and then after that, I literally just get my gua sha and I do some exercises. I haven't used my gua sha in so long. It's actually really not good. Well, it's not that bad, but like if you don't use it, your face will go back to the way it was. Just so be consistent with it. Ew, I'm looking at my face right now in the mirror. I'm like, I can see 30 year old Kate. Ew, no, no, no. Reverse, reverse, reverse. Anyways, I'm gonna brush my teeth and then I'm gonna get to bed. Peace. It would not be a trip to a hotel if I don't run around the corridors. <laughs> I was just about to get to bed and I was like, no, I'm gonna have to do that. Apparently like 20 people like actually like living in this building right now. <laughs> Every short quarter I went down, I sat, I heard a noise. Just wanted to have a bit of fun. <laughs> Good morning for me and my king size bed. Is this king size? It must be bigger than that. It's pretty double king. I couldn't even reach my tootsie to the other side of this thing. I ain't complaining. I am in bliss right now, guys. I'm not gonna lie. It's approximately 10.23 a.m. I paid for bed and breakfast. So <laughs> I'm gonna be having breakfast. Ultimately, I didn't really need to get the breakfast, but I thought that I'd just have the whole entire experience. And I think it cost an extra 30 pounds on top. <laughs> 30 pounds for a breakfast, Jesus. Anyways, we need to order it. I need to get my ass up. This bed is so fucking snuggly. I am loving it. I want to know what pillows these are as well because this was oh, delicious. Hiya, um, I was just wondering, I, I paid for bre bed and breakfast. So um, do you know what breakfast comes included? Yeah, can I please have just the English breakfast but with some fruit on the side? Um, do you think I could get my eggs poached? I'd love some juice, please. Cool, thanks so much. Thank you, bye. Yes. It's coming up in 25 minutes, so I do need to get my ass in shape. Now this is the bloody life. I still am in a fever dream, and I just don't see this as being real, but like, wow, look at that, guys. Oh my god, is that a croissant? Stop. The bar is so low for me. I love croissants. Oh my gosh. Good morning, Britain. I'm salivating, guys. Cheers to that. Cheers to Claridge's. I really should start doing this more often. Honestly, if you need a break and you have some special money to knock it about, take yourself to a hotel for a night. I am being deadly serious. Sometimes I need to, like, switch up my environment so I get some inspiration. Really like kind of like a reset. Do you get me? Wow, that was posh sausage. Brush up. This is it, lads. It's the end of my stay at Claridge's. I'm not gonna lie, I feel I feel good. I feel refreshed. I literally feel like it was a little holiday, which I think I needed. To be fair, <laughs> needs to get away from real life for a little bit. <laughs> and now I'm just gonna go back home, get back into bed, bro. <laughs> I'm gonna miss this place. If you wanna stay in a bougie hotel, then come here. It's bloody gorgeous. Yeah. Anyway, peace out.